What's going on guys? Uh, this is the uh, piece of banded slate I found in my last video, my giveaway video, and I uh, decided to make a pendant out of it. I'm going to give it away with the uh, points I'm giving away too. I just figured you guys might want to see the process. We've got a lapidary machine, so it's you know, it's only going to take me about a half hour to make this, so it's, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I just drilled the hole and, and uh, washed it off, so this is where I'm at so far. Let me uh, go over to the lapidary machine and get set up, and then I'll show you guys what's going on. Alright, this is a lapidary machine for those of you guys who aren't uh, rock hounds, probably don't know what it is. It's basically a big ass grinder with the spindle sticking out of both sides. It's got three wheels on one side, three on the other. There's uh, water that sprays on the wheels to keep the, the rocks cool that you're working on and also helps keep the uh, grit out of the uh, wheels and makes, the, makes them last longer. These first two are, hold on a second. These are steel wheels with the diamond grit on them. This is 80 grit. The second one's 220. The rest of these wheels are uh, foam rubber with like sandpaper over top of them. That way you can, you know, when you're working on stuff, you can push kind of hard. These first two are for shaping only. And these, these other four are for polishing. They go from uh, uh, 280 grit to 600 grit, to 1200 grit, to 3000 grit, to 5000 grit. So, you know, it, it polishes up pretty good. This is slate. It doesn't polish really good. I mean, not as good as something that's a lot harder but, uh, you know, it does pretty good. You'll see. Let me get this camera set up, and I'll uh, show you a little bit of the shaping. It's going to be loud, so uh, I'm just going to show you pretty much how it's done. And, uh, you know, I won't bore you guys with the whole process. Give me a second. All right, I got set up now. I had to figure out how to uh, hold this camera because I don't have a selfie stick or anything. So I got that figured out, and... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on, turn the water on, start shaping it. So I'm only going to show you guys maybe 20, 30 seconds of it because it's, it's boring and it's loud. So uh, here we go. All right, you guys get the, the uh, picture. I'm gonna shut this off, and uh, when I get it shaped, I'll turn it back on and clean it off. To show you guys. All right, I got it got it shaped into a, I'm, what I'm kind of happy with. It's a little rough, but you know, I I work refine it as I'm going along. I just want to show you guys the shape and uh, how when you know when this stone was found, it's like a greenish gray color, you know, with black bands. When you start grinding into it, this piece, I mean, they're all different. This piece here is more of like a bluish gray with black bands. This is just, you know, what thousands of years of patina does. It's just, you know, just like it does to our arrowheads. It changes the color of them, of them a little bit, and they get patina on them, and they just absorb the minerals from the soil and whatnot. So, all right, I just want to show you guys before I, uh, the two different colors before I start working on the surfaces. So, um, I'll get back with you in a minute and let you see what's going on. All right, I got it all shaped up. I'm pretty happy with it. It turned out pretty good. Beautiful, the banding's in it. It looks a lot different than when I started. But uh, I got it shaped pretty good. It's it's gonna be big. I don't know if you guys are gonna wanna, whoever wins is gonna wanna wear it for a necklace or uh, I made one kind of like this. I just got it hanging from my rear view mirror. It's pretty neat looking. 
All right, I'm going to get to a polishing this. I've been on this thing about 10 minutes now. I probably got another about 15 minutes to finish it. Polishing takes longer than it does to shape it usually. I'll uh, let you guys see what it looks like when it's done. Bye. Well, here it is. It's going to be a little longer than I thought. I've been at it about 45 minutes now, but man, this thing turned out sweet. So, somebody's really going to enjoy this. Polished up pretty good. But it's wet right now. I just got done. You know. It's going to look different when it's dry. but you know. Things always look better when they're wet. You guys know what I'm talking about. Hell, I always say the wetter the better, but some people might not agree. All right, let me get this... <laughs> Let me get this dried off and I'll uh, hang it on a leather string and uh, see what you guys are going to win. Bye. Alright, here it is. It didn't turn out too bad. Brought it outside so the sun can shine on it a little bit. Show the colors a little bit better. Turned out pretty good. Let's see, it's, uh, it's a little big to wear for a necklace. I'd, I'd hang it from my rear view mirror and... Uh, Hopefully it'll bring you luck every time you go out right out head hunting. But uh, I've made up several of these and uh, tried to give them away as gifts. And I even made up a bunch of stuff to go to a flea market one time. But my old lady just can't let anything go that I make. She throws a shit fit. She's going to be pissed when the, she finds out that I made this and gave it away today. So I need to hurry up and get this video uploaded before she gets home from work. Or uh, you guys won't be seeing this video at all or this pendant. Uh, oh shit, I gotta go. I think she's pulling in the driveway. Bye.